Welcome back to my channel, Latin Language, and we're going to discuss Chord Chord Power Theorem. So let's start with the introduction. If two chords intersect in the interior of the circle, the product of the lengths of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the segments of the other. So let's see the figure. So we have two chords here, as segment AD and segment BC. So let's check the formula. So we have a proportion here. This segment, this part of the segment AE, if you multiply it to ED, the product of this two, AE and ED, is equal to the product of BE and BC. Now let's have the first example. What if we have a given AE is two, and ED is 6, this 1, 2, and 6, and BE is 4, and we are asked to find the value of EC. We don't know. So first things first is, let's just put it as X, and let's place the formula. So AE times ED, AE times ED is equal to the product of these two. Substitute it, so we have 2 here, ED is 6, B is 4, and EC is, we don't know, that's X. So simplify, 2 times 6, that will be 12, and 4 times EC. To get the value of EC, just divide, divide both sides by 4, and the value of EC is 3. That's easy, right? Now let's have another example. What if we have a given like this one, A E is 8. ED is 3, B is X, and EC is 12. So 8 here, 3, X, and 12. Hmm. Okay, place the formula and substitute the values. Simplify this one. 8 times 3 is 24, and X times 12, that will be 12X. Okay, now divide both sides by 12, and you will get an answer of x is equal to 2. So this one is 2. Moving on, let's go to example number 3. What if we have a given? Like AE is 10x, and ED is 2, BE is 4, and EC is 5. What is the value of x? We are asked to find the value of x. Please the formula again. AE, multiply to ED, the product of these two is equal to the product of these two. Substitute the values, we have 10x times 2 is equal to 4 times 5. So simplify that one, 10x times 2, that will be 20x. It's equal to 4 times 5, 4 times 5, that will be 20. Now to find the value of x, x is, you have to divide both sides by 20, and x will be 1. And if you if you are asked to find what is the value of AE, just substitute the value of X here, and we can find that 10 times 1 is equal to 10. So that will be 10 units. Next one. What if we have a complicated problem like this one? And we have a trinomial here. AE is equal to 3x squared plus 10x plus 3. This one and ED is 1. B E is X plus 3 and E C is 7. What is the value of X? To find that one, we can place the formula and we could substitute the values as is. So we already have the values here in our formula. We can simplify it. Now we have a 1 here. We can just remove the 1 since any number multiplied by 1 is a number itself. Like so, and I'm not just distributing this one just in case that the factors of this and the left side of the equation, left side of the equation, is a factor of like x plus 3. So we could cancel it later. So, what are we going to do is we're going to factor 3x squared plus 10x plus 3. Now, I'll be using the slide technique. So, how are how the slide technique? goes so this 3 here the coefficient here you multiply it to the constant 
at the end. So that will be x squared plus 10x plus 9. Since 3 plus 3, five, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Now we factor that one and we have x plus 9 and x plus 1. Since x squared x squared plus 1x plus 9x is 10x and 9. Remember, we slide something. That is 3. So we have to divide 3 here to both uh, 9 and 1. Now, we must simplify that one. We must get an integer. So x plus 9 over 3. This one is 3. And 1 third is not an integer if you simplify it. So we will place the 3 here. So as is. So this one is 3 again, and this one is 3x plus 1. Now if you're in doubt, you can check this one. So the answer should be like this. So let's check 3x squared and plus x. 3 times 3x, that will be, sorry, that will be 9x. And 3 times 1, that will be 3. So the final answer will be 3x squared plus 10x plus 3. And that is the same here. Moving on. So let's place the factors. So we have x plus 3 times the quantity, quantity 3x plus 1. Now, since there are both 3x, 3 plus x or x plus 3 to both equations, to both sides of the equation, we can cancel it out. So this one, we can cancel it. So we are left with 3x plus 1 is equal to 7. Now we just remove the parentheses and simplify it by subtracting 1 to both sides. We have 3x equal to 6. Divide both sides by 3, and the final answer is x is equal to 2. So we now know the value of x is equal to 2. So just to check if our answer is correct, we substitute 2 to this one. So 2 squared is 4 times 3, that will be 12. And 2 times 10 is 20, so that will be 20 plus 3, and that will be 35. Now, th this 2, we will also substitute it to this one. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So we have 35 here in AE, and ED is 1, and EC is 7, and the value of BE is 5. So let's check 35 times 1 is equal to 5 times 7. 35 times 1 is 35, and 5 times 7 is also 35. So we got the correct answer. And that's the end of the lesson on how to solve power chord chord power theorem. And if you would like to suggest or comment another math and language video, please comment down below. And if you need the help with your assignment, you can also comment down below. And this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification so you will be updated for my future videos about math and language. Thank you and goodbye.